Greetings, free thinkers. Welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have here two clips to watch uh, in regards to the um, situation involving the attempted offing, as we'll say, of Justice Kavanaugh. Um, we'll check on the updates on that after that's the second clip. The first clip I want to show you is this one. It's, it's a shorter clip. It is on the heels of what happened um, or what could have happened, I should say, to Justice Kavanaugh. And it just goes to show you, wait until you see this, right? It just goes to show you the reckless rhetoric that's coming from the Democrats, coming from the left in general, okay? Um, because there's people out there, as you know, there are people out there who will, will there are people out there stupid enough to listen to Joe Biden as stupid as joe biden is himself is drooling bumbling idiot as you know but there are people out there democrat the, the average democrat leftist on the street who will take him at his word and think well oh you know biden says that so i must too yeah rhetoric has consequences okay taking the justices homes for example how they've been outside protesting outside their homes which is illegal by the way um, for quite some time and this was encouraged through rhetoric by the Democrats and then what did we have an attempted offing the type that you would the type of thing you'd expect from Somalia yeah that's how that's how bad it's got and no accountability at all none none the the mainstream media sycophants don't even ask them condemn this condemn that like they do with Republicans you know what it's like and when if Donald Trump does run again and I certainly hope he does you know he will be asked 15 times a day to condemn this condemn that and so on and so on meanwhile these guys get a pass as they always get a pass so let's jump into this video if you haven't yet though please like the video subscribe to the podcast Hit the notification bell and share the video around if you find the video informative. Um, you can also become a member of the Hogcast. There's a join button next to the sub button. I have eight abusing mem... Um, <laughs> can't believe I just said that. I have eight amazing and uh, beautiful members who honour and humble me that um, they support the Hogcast. Uh, in these quiet this quiet little corner of the internet because uh, we are shadow banned and deboosted because we are conservative commentators okay let's go okay the first clip in regards to um joe Biden, and when you're watching this remember this is right hot on the heels of the attempted offing of kavanaugh i have to admit to you a lot of us have elected officials have been in office for a while every once in a while something you learn makes you viscerally angry like if you had the person in front of you, you'd want to pop them. No, I really mean it. You know. How reckless is that? <laughs> it's, it's like with everything, whether it's Russia or China. Um, remember, he almost started a war with China. Can you remember that? Over Taiwan. <laughs> and uh, so on. And he used the word pop. Now, I know the word pop can mean like a fist, but it can also mean that. Yeah. Astoundingly reckless rhetoric, and you wonder why society. You wonder why people went to just that. That guy went to Justin Kavanaugh's house, right? You, you wonder why, because there are leftists out there who have spent their entire life, like in a university campus bubble type place, uh, or in the public sector where they kind of try to make it like um the un their university days that's why conservatives um always feel unwelcome when they're in um like the public sector offices or whatever because they're just you so if you're a conservative you're supposed to just keep quiet yeah um those type of people will believe him when he says that those type of people will take inspiration because they're the type of people that think Joe Biden's an actual leader. And if you are a type of person that thinks that you look at Joe Biden and you think that's a leader, you're capable of anything. If you're that stupid, you're capable of anything. Yeah, but I'll play it again. And, and I hope you can and I hope you can understand my point where I'm coming from here, because that is astoundingly reckless. Um, of course, he doesn't give you any context as to what he's talking about. Could be anything. 
Nor does he seem to understand that if it's good for the goose, then it's also good for the gander. Like, I'm not saying something bad should happen, but what I'm saying is, he's. I think he's trying to express that he's angry, like, his own words, I'm quoting him here, viscerally angry. <laughs> How do you think the average person feels, Biden? How do you think they feel when they have to live with the consequences of your absurdities, yeah? You know, I have to admit to you, a lot of us have elected officials have been in office for a while. Every once in a while, something you learn makes you viscerally angry. Like if you had the person in front of you, you'd want to pop them. No, I really mean it. To you, oh. to you, to you. We believe you really mean it. We believe it. You know, I'm really, I'm quite concerned about the direction. I mean, we're all concerned about the direction the United States are heading in. But when I say it, I really mean it. Like, especially coming up to the midterms and especially the 2024 election. I wouldn't put it past the, the, the Democrats at this point to just round up all the Republicans and jail them. Or for the, they'll say something like, this is just my opinion and I hope to God I'm wrong. But they could say something like, not not in the midterms, I mean in the actual election, especially if they get a shellacking in the midterms. They'll say something like, um, to protect the dignity and the sanctity of democracy, we've had to suspend the election. They'll say something stupid like that, you know, because people will eat it up. They say, well, yeah, that, 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 yes, yes, okay. That's what they'll do. They're, they're, it doesn't matter what this drooling imbecile says, They'll just accept it. <laughs> yeah? I hope I'm wrong. Well, I really do. But anyway, look, let's move on to the next clip. The next clip is... Um, uh, it's the latest in regards to the whole Kavanaugh thing. And before we move on, I just very quickly wanted to say that... Um, you notice how the... Because the person who wanted to off Kavanaugh was, like, enraged about the medical procedure that women go through i'm sure you know what i mean the 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 decision about overturning it you know what i mean so he was obviously whipped up into a frenzy to go there over that um but have you noticed that the 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 leaker we still haven't heard haven't found out who the who this person was even though people are pretty sure they know like where it came from there's a little pool of people and um it looks like it was a clerk belonging to one of the leftist justices. That's all I'm going to say. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Um, so we haven't uh, had the identity of that person released. Yeah. And have you noticed about the t attempted offing of Kavanaugh? We haven't had that identity released. And it's just the mainstream media just don't talk about it. Because they're having their little show trial at the moment. And um, it would... To talk about it on the mainstream media, on the airwaves, would unravel all of their planning, all of their propaganda, yeah. Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh is charged with attempted murder this morning. The 26-year-old suspect was arrested near Kavanaugh's home in Maryland early yesterday morning. He had traveled there from California, where he lives. Police say he was carrying a case full of potential tools for an attack. Jan Crawford is outside the Supreme Court. Jan, so what else do we know about the suspect? Well, Vlad, the suspect's name is Nicholas John Roski, and according to court documents, he believed that Justice Kavanaugh would give his life a purpose. We're also hearing from his family members who say they never imagined that he could be involved in something like this. So in other words, he's been radicalized. Yeah, that, that is often something that parents say when they find out that their usually son, it could be daughter, but usually the son has been... Um, radicalized yeah and who could have radicalized it the thing do you know what gets me is is that his position to us to normal people is radical but if you if you compare his position on things to the democrats which is the party that he belongs to he fits right in doesn't that concern you it's not like he's a wackadoodle it's not like he's you know do 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 he fits in perfectly with the Democrat rhetoric, the Democrat belief set, the modern Democrat belief set. Because you know that they've gone far, far further left over the last few years than they've been, I think, in their history. Yeah, could be wrong. I don't think I am, but I could be. 
but now he fits right in if it was the democrat party of 2000 2002 yeah even like 2008 when barack obama came along th that would be unthinkable <laughs> but now it's just uh, he probably he pro he'll probably get loads of fan mail over that while he's inside Last night, FBI agents raided the California home of the man accused of attempting to kill Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Word spread quickly of the plot. Chuck, that it was right here, and uh, a nice family, good neighbors. According to an FBI affidavit, Nicholas Roski got out of a taxi outside Kavanaugh's home just after 1 a.m. Wednesday. Roughly 10 minutes later, police say they got a 911 call. According to the affidavit, Roski was turning himself in, expressing that he had come from California Supreme Court Justice, had a firearm in his suitcase, and was having all thoughts. Law enforcement arrested him around 1.50 a.m., recovering a Glock 17 pistol, ammunition, pepper spray, and other supplies. So this is a very confused, very angry person. Um, as you've heard from the neighbors, like, uh, Oh, is the best family. Oh, you know, so quite family. So what's gone wrong with this young man? He's in his 20s. I think he said he's 26, isn't it? So what's gone wrong with this young man to make him want to do that, right? And the thing is, as I said, the positions he's holding, he's against the overturning of the... the um, I can't say the name of the, the, the bill, but you know what it is. The, the, the procedure that women go through. Um, or some women do uh, yeah we can say a lot about that um, so he's obviously enraged about the potential overturning of that that's just normal on the Democrat side that's completely normal not only that he's probably seen all of the people stood outside their homes look at that it was a uh, a tin of red paint was thrown all over the door of I can't remember who it was it wasn't Kavanaugh it was another Republican um, from that organization roof centers so he's amongst friends yeah so he obviously wanted to or at least he claims that he wanted to also off himself so this is a person who's very de depressed angry hateful all of the things we're told the far right are the so-called far right i've been on the right of politics my entire life i've never met these so-called swivel-eyed you know far right loons where are they we're told that they're the number one threat and I'm, I'm on the right side of the political divide, yet I can't find them anywhere. There's plenty of leftists, though. Plenty of leftists that do it, right? But you're not supposed to notice it. So this person has been radicalised in the same way that a you-know-what bomber has been radicalised. And if you look, the intention is exactly the same. He wanted to um, off his political enemies or ideological enemies and then off himself. The method is different, but the, the mechanism is exactly the same. The pattern is the same. If that doesn't show you that Democrats are actively radicalizing their own base, nothing will. And hot on the heels of this, because the, the, um, these two clips I've shown you aren't in chronological order. This one's older than the Biden one. So this is coming after... Um, sorry, this one is coming before the Biden clip. This is what I mean about the rhetoric from the Democrats, from the left. It keeps going up and up and up. Because they think the culture war's a game. They, they think they have to... They, they just they don't understand... That their actions have consequences. They're so hyper focused on Donald Trump this and Donald Trump that they they're not looking at their own actions and the the effect that their own actions are having. And the more that their own actions are having adverse effects on society, the more that they try and blame it on Trump. It's absurd. It's a game to them. Roski allegedly told a detective he was upset about the leaked Supreme Court draft decision that would overturn. The leaked opinion sparked protests outside conservative justices' homes as well as the Supreme Court. This is exactly, exactly the kind of event. Oh, uh, and what? Listen, M Mitch McConnell, you're a rhino. He thinks his job 
is to stand there with taxpayers funded money and that stupid turtle face and just go blah 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 and da 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 blah da blah da blah but what changes right what what Mitch McConnell what do you do what what is the point in the existence of of your job of of you i mean what do you do you sit there and you write your strongly worded letters and i've got a speech and i've got a strongly worded speech so so let me you do nothing yeah you do nothing if you have and i'm speaking to mitch mcconnell if you have uh, uh, if you have a one percent of a backbone if the shellacking comes in the midterms you need to start impeaching democrats if it's good for the goose it's good for the gander if you can if they can impeach donald trump for things he did not do then you can impeach the democrats for things they did do right that many feared. Republicans and Democrats alike Wednesday renewed the call for legislation that would offer increased security to federal justices and their family members. This I seem to recall Nancy Pelosi refusing that, but that's by the by. However, you notice how there is no, there is no demand from, for condemnation from the Democrats. Have you noticed that? None at all. I could play the game. I was about to play the... Um, uh, imagine if it was a Trump supporter game, but I'm sure you're tired of that game. I certainly am, because we both know how that game, we both know the answer to that. Senate unanimously passed such a bill last month, but it stalled in the House. We shouldn't have to give up our lives to do our job. U.S. District Judge Esther Salas was the target of an attack two years ago. A disgruntled lawyer for a former plaintiff came to her home in New Jersey, where he shot and killed her son. And that's a tragedy, of course it is, and they need to be protected. However, what I will say is, um, and I know, I know that's serious, but the thing is, like in all cases, you have aggravating or mitigating circumstances. Here, um, not not in this case, a, a tragedy as it is. With with Kavanaugh, there is an aggravating feature in that it was um, ideologically driven. This one here seems to be a judge, like uh, uh, sorry, a, a grudge. Um, from the former plaintiff um, but in the case of Kavanaugh nothing to do with it the person traveled from California specifically to there he doesn't know Kavanaugh um, has no personal beef with him he has an ideological beef with him yeah radicalization in other words as for Roski, CBS News met his grandfather outside their home in California. He seemed shocked by the news. Would you ever consider him someone who might be, you know, implicated in threatening a no, Supreme Court no, justice? No, no, no. So he lives in a beautiful area, got a nice car. Like I say, I would love to live in the United States. Has all of these things going for him, and yet he wanted to do that to Kavanaugh and off himself to the point where he had with him, like, uh, an, abdu an abduction kit was essentially what he had and then the tools to finish the job if you know what I mean so his family and I can believe them when they say they had no idea he was down for that he wanted to do that in other words this man was radicalized into action yeah not by Trump supporters yeah not by Marjorie Taylor Greene or Matt Gates, but by Democrats right Absolutely. Now, Roski uh, also allegedly expressed concerns that Justice Kavanaugh could roll back gun regulations. If he is convicted, he faces up to 20 years in federal prison. He won't be. There, you, this, is, this is the main problem with justice in the United States because it's been politicized and weaponized. And it's the same here. On this side of the pond, it's the same here. Although we don't have so many links in the chain, the United States have lots of links in the chain. For example, your district attorneys are elected, yeah? Which means, I think that should stop. It's just, as an outsider looking in, I think that's a bad idea. Especially in these political climates, because if it's politicized, one group 
is always going to get the preferential treatment, especially when Democrats are involved, because you know how hyper-partisan Democrats are. Republicans, on the other hand, will just roll over and do whatever they... Because that's what Republicans do. They lose with grace. But there's so many links in the chain that it only takes one of them to drop the charges, to reduce the charges, to a, a lenient Democrat-stacked jury, um, and so on and so on. You know, all these links along the chain from freedom to prison and it takes one of them to break that's why you see so many democrats and i don't mean politicians i mean people who vote democrat getting away with serious crimes look at how antifa behaves look at how they always behave and they are never ever held accountable for it ever and here at the supreme court the building and the justices remain under heightened security as yeah, and, and we'll end it here, but that's what I'm saying. So they're under heightened security. At the moment, while they're having that ridiculous pantomime show trial that's that would, wouldn't have been out of place in North Korea or the former Soviet Union, whilst they're doing that, claiming that Trump supporters are this and that, this place has had to be locked down, hunkered down, to protect conservative justices from banging leftist mobs. One of whom just tried to off a sitting justice, Republican justice, of course. But yet, we're supposed to focus on this show trial. <sighs> anyway, look, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.